Hey guys, I'm Atilo with Subjo7, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Last time, we stormed the Seafoam Islands and wound up catching ourselves something pretty rare. I can scroll down a bit. Wound up catching Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, and one of the legendary birds. This time, though, we have some unfinished business around here in round 10. I think this is round 10. This is round 10, right? Yeah, this is round 10, okay. I mentioned that there was this body of water, but we never really got the chance to explore that because at the time that we were here, we didn't have Surf. But we sure, can, we sure do now. And yes, I've made sure to heal up and stock up on extra Ultra Balls this time too. So, you know what's coming. And of course, since we're surfing, there's a Tentacool. Because that's how this game works. Ooh, Clear Body. That is a good ability. Prevents uh, statuses from being lowered. Quite nice. Of course, though, this isn't why we're here. We're not here for water. We're here for this building. Apparently, this guy's here for it, too. Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac, too. Want to see my collection? Uh, no, but for the sake of argument, sure. Rhyhorn! Ooh! Don't see, don't see those too often. Fortunately, I don't think Big Tex is really built to fight you, so, uh, Orion. Rock Blast, wow. We never see that move. Rock Blast is a multi-hit move. It's pure rock, pretty weak. Don't really bother with it. Surf. Rhyhorns do not stand a chance against the Surf. See ya, sucker. All right, Lickitung. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Um, Snagrid, you fight it. I just now realized what might happen. Okay, hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, fight it. Aerial Ace. Nope, just using wrap. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's all kind of disgusting. Ew, he's wrapping me with his tongue. Ugh. And that does it for you. Let me scare you. Hmm. I'm not angry. Uh, that sounds like an angry face. It looks like an angry face, too. I don't know why it sounds like an angry face, but that's beside the point. Anyway, though. This is why we're here. The power plant. I shouldn't have to explain this. Another abandoned building. This place is swarming with Electric-type Pokémon. Case in point, Magnemites! I believe we've already covered Magnemites, of course, still Electric-types. Pretty fun Pokémon, get better with time. But there is actually one new encounter here, but it is Virgin exclusive to, to Fire Red Virgin. If you have Fire Red, you can encounter here with a 5% chance, Electabuzz. Electabuzz is pretty solid as an Electric-type, I'd say. Pretty fast, hits relatively hard, learns good moves like Thunder Punch and Thunderbolt. But Electabuzz, like its counterpart, I think are Pokemon that only got better with time. It and its counterpart, which we'll be seeing a bit later, have evolutions in Generation 4 that really show what they can actually do. If you want to use Electabuzz here, by all means you can. They're pretty solid electric types and you could do worse. But I think there are better electric types to be using as well. Magneton, oh boy. Maybe Big Tech should not be in front. Maybe this should be a job for Senkos, given that there are still types in here. Switch. I also find it kind of funky that uh, Magnemite and Magneton, despite floating off the ground, don't have Levitate for their ability. So you can still absolutely cripple them if you use a ground-type move. Pikachu! It's been a while since we've seen you. We can't really encounter you in any other place except here in Viridian Forest, so that's kind of nice to know. Yeah, so yeah, if you somehow missed a Pikachu because you weren't hunting for one in Viridian Forest, this is your chance to grab one. Or two. They're very needy Pokemon, as you can see. Once they find you, they never leave you alone. Generator? Yeah, there's quite a lot of items right here too, and Voltorb, so be careful.
Uh-oh. So, this is something else that they like to do. Uh, electrode traps. Instead of hell items, they're electrodes. Either run for the hills or try and kill it fast, but trust me, this thing does not like to stay dead. If you try and run it, you might just wind up blowing up. Oh no, he did- wow, he didn't go for that. Usually he does. And luckily, Senko's fast enough that it doesn't matter. Good job, Senko. It's kind of hard to outspeed an electrode. Nice work. But yeah, there's a few electro traps. They do this a couple times in Gen 1 and Gen 2. So you just gotta be on guard. But really, you know why we're here. If we... <laughs> Naturally, if we, can't, if we spent last episode trying to catch one legendary bird, we're probably going to be looking for another one. Team 25 Thunder! <laughs> Hello, nurse. That is the best electric type move in the game right there. This, like Blizzard, is an extremely powerful move, but it is a bit inaccurate. It is 70% accurate, 120 base power, and it can paralyze. But just like Blizzard, pretty hard to, hard to time. Has more PP than Blizzard, surprisingly. Oh god, I might wind up teaching that to Nash, but I need to find a way- I need to figure out who is getting Rain Dance as well, because Rain Dance, if active, will make Thunder 100% accurate. Which would be quite nice to have, as that would negate the problem of its accuracy. So many Pikachus. Something I should also mention as well, because this is something that I myself personally forget about from time to time. If you want to explore all of the post-game of Fire Red Leaf Green, you should be catching some Pokemon that you're not using in your main team, because for some reason, there's an arbitrary requirement that you have to catch quite a large amount of Pokemon to gain the national decks and a few other things. I believe the number exactly that you need is 60, and that's not going to be fun. <laughs> I'm probably going to be doing just a bunch of, like, navigation around catching random Pokemon when uh, the time is right. Not going to be doing it right now, but uh, look forward to my insanity for that. Though I might just cut past it. Okay, two items here. One of them is a fake. I don't remember which one it is, though. Okay, Thunderstone. Free Thunderstone, in case you didn't feel like spending a little bit of cash to evolve your Jolteon or your... To evolve to get a Jolteon or a Raichu. Eh, the heck with it. We'll fight the other Electrode, why not? Might as well clear this place out of them while we're here. Otherwise, some other poor sap could come here and get blown up. They'll still get blown up by the Voltors, but at least it won't be by an Electrode. Yeah, I figured. They pulled this trick a couple times. At least across the series, if I remember correctly. Set it on fire. Or just get blown up. Yeah, that figures. Uh, oof. Thank you. Level up for Senko. Nice. 39. Ooh, that was a lot of speed he got. Or was that a special defense? One or the other. Okay, let's switch someone else in front, though, because I don't want you taking too many blows like that. Big Tex. Plus, you're already level 39. I don't want you getting too far ahead in terms of levels. We'll heal while we're doing this. Ah! Please just let me move. Don't need to deal with you right now, Voltorb. I already have an Electrode on my team. I don't want another one. Okay. I think this is the spot. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this power plant. Run into a Magnemite, though, I guess, for good luck. And left. Oh my god, there's why so many stuff in here. Yes, I get it. There's a lot of electricity, so you guys are frolicking like this is Candyland, but god. Get over it. I 
Okay, where is it? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. Well, you know what that means. Something just hanging out that isn't a Pokeball? Probably something important. I like this Voltorb. Get out of here. As usual, make sure you save. Do I want him in front? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. Okay. Let's do it. The wild Zapdos appeared. Zapdos! The electric bird of the legendary bird trio and probably the best of the three. This thing has an amazing type combination of electric flying and stats that really, really benefit from that. Incredibly high special attack and great speed. This thing has great moves it benefits highly from. It's probably just the best without question because its type also makes it pretty hard to deal with. There's not many weaknesses an electric flying type has. Honestly, if you want to use this thing, it is the best bird without, without question. I'd say go for it. This is a fantastic Pokemon. Even its physical attacks, like Drill Peck here, still can pack a punch. Despite the fact that we use Intimidate on it, that hit pretty dang hard. Zapdos also, for some reason, comes equipped with Detect, which protects it from damage for one turn. It's only a five-use move, though, so don't worry too much about that. And it's got the same properties as Protect, so it cannot be spammed over and over again without a lot of luck. If you have a ground type as well, this guy kind of becomes a pushover because he can't hit you with his strongest moves. Okay. <sighs> kind of risky for me to be doing anything because if he uses Drill Peck, it'll most likely take out Emperor. Being said though, I think he actually doesn't have Thunder on him. If at least, at least if it's going off of his level ups because he learns Thunder way later. So, if I'm lucky, we could just avoid that issue altogether, but it also depends on how many times he feels like using Drill Pack. Right now, let's just start throwing balls. This is a pretty damn fast Pokemon, so be careful as well. Ugh. Okay, yeah, use Detect. I'm gonna try and use Scary Face to slow him down real fast, because that could be useful. Oh shoot, that's the other thing he's got. He's got Thunder Wave. That will paralyze, of course, because we know how Thunder Wave works. But Scary Face still gets it. Nice. Cut his speed down. That'll help a lot. Do it twice. Wow. Then again, we're paralyzed, so that makes sense. Okay. Next Pokemon. Emperor, put this thing to sleep, please. Using Detect. <laughs> he knows what's coming. He's trying to avoid it. Oh, come on! So when you use Detect more than once in a more than one time, you actually cut the chances of it working in half. So that was a 50% chance of working. I think he's actually used up all of his Detects now, though, which is kind of funny. Okay, you're asleep now. That's good. So Ultra Ball time. What? <laughs> what? I thought we'd be here longer than Articuno. Nope, that took no time at all. That was two balls. Woo! Oh, legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. The electric Pokemon. <laughs> wow. That, I was not expecting that in the slightest. Jesus Christ, Zapdos! Gonna give me a heart attack. Okay, uh, hmm. What do I call you? I was thinking Lightning Star, but that might be a bit too long, actually. L I G H T. Yeah, that's that's too, too that's actually too long. Just remind me, uh, the reason why it's called Thunderbolt and not Lightning Bolt is because it's actually one character too long in the original uh, character limits, and they never bothered to fix that after they extended the character limits for moves. Oops. Actually, I know your name is Thunder in the Japanese version. Uh, do I want to call you Thunderstar? Sure, why not? I almost just named him T. Luckily, I stopped and went, nope, that's the wrong button. 
I am not pulling a Lapras on this. Okay, no, that's also too too short. Damn, too. Character limits be damned, I guess. Uh, okay. I got it. Since thunder and lightning don't work, uh, I guess this is the calm before the storm. Come on. <laughs> Let my dyslexia go away for one goddamn second. <laughs> I'm not dyslexic, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Alright. Stormstar, welcome aboard. Nice! That turned out way better than I thought it would. And of course, we actually wind up on the left side of the power plant of all places. I think we picked up all the uh, items. If we didn't, uh, I'll put up on screen whatever we missed. Hopefully we did not miss anything important. I feel like we didn't. There's not, there's not that much of note in there. Actually, hmm. Wait a minute. I might... I might remember something. I got thunder. Oh, shoot. There is, there is actually something we missed. Uh, I'll be right back then. Oh, wow. Both of them were actually it. Okay. TM-17 Protect. Well, we already mentioned what Protect and Detect do since they're basically the same move, so we can actually get out of here now. Escape rope. Alright, and that does it for the power plant. We've cleared out everything we need from here. But you know what that means. Back to Cinnabar. Though, for the sake of my sanity, and because I feel it's kind of a bad idea to be doing it at this point, I might do some off-screen grinding to get the team up to level 40. Because, well, I'm a bit concerned by Cinnabar's gym. Leader Blaine, the hot-headed quiz master. Sounds like a fire type. Like, I trust that Orion and possibly people like Big Tex can be useful, but the level difference will still make an impact on us. It made an impact on us in Sabrina and almost cost us. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding off screen to beat a level 40. Just for safety. Being said, though, that does it for this episode of Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. So next time, we'll be taking on Cinnabar Jim and us hopefully schooling Blaine. Until next time, ice out. <laughs>